everyone, it's me, Alex, and welcome to a brand new video. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to get started and how to use AirServe. So before we get started, my name is Alex. For anyone new here, if you're new, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. It's free and it would help my channel grow. So, before we get started with the video, you might be thinking, well, what is AirServer? AirServer is an application that can be downloaded on Mac OS and even Windows and allows you to use AirPlay on an iPhone and even on an iPad to wirelessly share your content on a TV, for example, that does not have AirPlay or even a projector. But you will need to have your computer connected if you need it on a big screen. If you don't, you would just be watching your content on the Mac on your MacBook screen, which is mostly used more to have it like on a projector or on a TV to see better screen image that you can't connect. So just know that this app requires a license. So normal personal accounts are twenty dollars forever. You do not it's not a subscription like you pay monthly or annually. It's just a one time purchase of twenty dollars. And before actually we get started, there is an option to do a free trial to just try. So it lets you download the software, but it'll have a little AirPlay watermark so you know that it's just a trial. Once your trial expires, you can go ahead and buy one on the Air Server website, which I'll link in the description. So, oh, and something important. I'm doing this on a MacBook actually before the important step, but this will work the same on Windows computers. But important. The licenses are not transferable. So for example, let's say you bought a new MacBook and then you already had an Earth server on another MacBook. It's not transferable. So it might say for you to buy another license. The same thing with Windows. You cannot just buy a new Windows computer and it will not work either because you need to buy a new license. So I'm gonna show you how to get everything working step by step. And this is where I'm using an iPad, but you could also use your phone to share pictures or anything like that. So let's get started. So as you can see, once you get Air, you go to the Air Server website, which I'll link in the description, you're gonna get this. This is more professional, of course. You can buy this, but I'm gonna show you how to do this. You wanna click on download, but as you can see here, it tells you download for Mac. So as you can see, you can install the application, activate the license, or try it for free for a limited time. Like I said, you would just have the watermark and mirror your device. So that's what it does. And then here are the supported computers if you have any questions. And even an Xbox, which is cool. So you wanna click on buy, or if you're just gonna try, I'll show you. As you can see, you have a one month free trial. You click free trial, and I'll go ahead and download it for you. This is if you have an educational license for students, teachers, and any in the educational uh, world. Consumer and business. Right now I just have consumer because it's just for any individuals to purchase it. So once you do that and you buy, download it, let me see if I can show you down here, you're gonna get Air Server. Or if it's if you have a MacBook and it's not there, you can click on your Apple launch pad and it might appear right here and you just drag it down. So I'm gonna click on open Air Server. If you got a free trial or automatically bought the license, you're gonna be asked to download the Air Server Connect app, which as you can see right now, you're seeing on my iPad. I'm gonna do this on an iPad, as you can see it's right here, you just look up Air Server Connect and it's a free app. All you need to do is click on get and then I already say like I got it, I'm gonna click on open. And then I'm gonna show you right here on my Mac, you're gonna, once you download it, you're gonna see this symbol on the top you wanna click on that and you wanna click show QR code. And then it's gonna prompt a QR code that has no data, but only works with this application that's available up here. So I'm gonna click on scan QR code. It might ask it might ask you for permission to use the camera. And then once it does, just bring your iPad or iPhone to the QR code. It's gonna do that little tone. Successfully added. You want to know that name. As you can see, successfully added mine, of course, Alex's MacBook Pro Connect. Of course, it's gonna be different on yours. So you wanna make sure you know that name. And this app is for one-time use because it allows this to show on, this will allow it to screen mirroring to show on the iPad right here. So now you want to click on, let me get my Apple Pencil to show you a really quick demonstration. You wanna click on screen mirroring. I'm gonna click on Alex's MacBook Pro Connect. As you can see, it shows up in, as an Apple TV. And then on my MacBook over here, you're gonna see that a code shows up. It's gonna do a, every time you try to connect, oh, let me move it over here. Let me move it on my screen over here. Every time you're gonna try to connect, a code has to appear. This helps block like unwanted people just connecting to your MacBook. So as you can see, mine is 4432. Again, this is just a one-time code, so it's gonna be way different for everybody. So I'm gonna do 4432, okay? And then right now on my iPad, you're gonna see that blue like thing that shows up on the top showing that I'm a screen mirroring. And then as you can see, I'm in there. So if I drag this over, sorry, I have my MacBook over here. And then you can like, let's just say, I can close the QR code. So let's say this was your Microsoft, you just click on the full screen button, or if you have a Mac like me, just click on this and then full screen. And then bam, it just takes over the whole thing. So as you can see, now it's like I'm showing my iPad 
over there. So now if I was to open up an app, so if I was to use this, not I have notability for like school stuff. So as you can see, oh, I actually got small because I, I didn't have it open at first. So let's just say, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use notability. I'm gonna use the getting started thing. And as you can see here showing it, I'm wirelessly using my iPad. I don't have to be connected to it like on the projector. So of course you would have your, your MacBook connected on the projector or TV, but you can just be walking freely with your iPad. As you can see, I could be writing like, hello, if it works. Oh, I, think it, <laughs> I think I need to stick it on there, sorry. As you can see, there we go, hello. So I could just be like here, I could just be here doing like one plus one, whatever, talking to students or something or for business. And then as you can see, you're just doing wirelessly presentations. Of course, this would work with anything. I'm just wirelessly showing my uh, my iPad screen to my Mac or to my projector. So as you can see, I'm just showing everything. You can see it, of course, this will also work with Google Slides. If you use Google Slides presentations, if you do them on your computer, you can use your iPad to walk around and use stuff like that. As you can see right now, I'm airplane, and let's just say I'm done for today, like whatever I was gonna present, I don't need to share anymore. Scroll down and then you wanna click on screen mirroring and click on stop mirroring, or it's just gonna be mirroring the whole time. So you click on stop mirroring, so you can see it goes back to whatever tab your computer was on. So again, that's pretty much it. That's all you need to do to get started with Air Server. Again, this will work on iPhones as well. And this video, I just use an iPad, which people would most likely use an iPad. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on the bell so you can get notified every time I post a new video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time in my next video. Bye.